Get some. All right, this is Al Partnin. I'm out here in Bakersfield, California at Kernside. Today we're gonna do a cinder block wall ride. We got Bakersfield Ben out here. It's his job, I'm helping him. All right, so some of the supplies you're gonna need are cinder blocks, concrete, mortar, rebar, and some friends that are willing to work. First thing we want to do is mix up our mortar. Mortar is concrete without the rocks in it. Simple and basic. Get it to a nice consistency. Lay a bed. Uh, what Ben tells me is you lay out enough mortar for three blocks at a time. That way you don't get too far ahead of yourself. Lay the blocks out. Set it in. Shimmy it in. Make sure it's level. Always e after every block use your level. All right, so after you get your first layer of bricks, you start your second layer. And on the ends here, you're gonna either wanna use a half brick or take the cinder blocks and actually chip them and cut them in half. So, so it's staggered, so you have more strength. You use the lines on the bricks as half marks. Boom, boom, boom. By doing that, it gives you stability because after, after you lay down the blocks and the mortar, you're gonna take concrete, you're gonna mix up some actual concrete and use rebar, and you're gonna fill these things and what these things are called cells. The cells are alternated because your blocks are alternated. When they all dry together, that makes the wall solid. I mean, we're talking with this rebar in here and this concrete, this is like industrial strength. This is like construction grade, I mean, you hit this thing with a car, and the car's gonna get messed up. All right, so you see what we're doing here is we're taking some of the extra mortar and blending it from the bank up to the wall just to make that nice, smooth transition, make it stronger and easier to ride, and making use of some of our extra materials. All right, so we filled up our cells to the top. We're leaving the top raw, we're not gonna finish it because we're actually gonna put these pieces of rebar in and use these to set the parking block. Use a little bit of mortar, the rebar, set it up, and get to ripping. All right, so there you have it. This is a cinder block wall with a curb on top. Super strong, super skatable. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna let it dry overnight and we're gonna come back and ride this thing.